Alright guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing good. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. So pretty much to get right into it, I'm heading over right now to get my truck um, and my trailer and switch over a couple things that are in the back of this and put them in the truck and then head up to my Trans Am where I'm going to throw the steering knuckles back in it, take it up the road, make sure it's running good and like, well, going down the road nice with the new knuckles. Well, change of plan guys. We jump started the truck, we were letting it warm up a little bit. I was putting some air in the tire and then uh, she's bleeding. So, can't bring it now. Um, one of the tranny lines, I'll just show you what it is. It's, it's extremely common on these frigging trucks, so whatever, it's about the time they were gonna have to be done. Just kind of sucks on the timing, but right, right there, tranny line's leaking. So, can't take her today. I'm gonna try to order some tranny lines for it, see where I can get them and then replace them, but that was kind of disappointing. <laughs> Picked up all three training lines for the truck. Um, just cause I don't know if they're bad, I gotta fix them. So I might as well just do them now. And Napa actually had them like on hand. Um, and they weren't nearly as expensive as I thought. And I got onto the truck to like really look at them and they're really not as hard to do as I thought either. Like it's been a long time since I've done lines on these trucks, but it's really not that bad. I think we're gonna do this little one first. Um, they all look pretty straightforward. We got comes from the transmission to the radiator and then from the radiator to the cooler and then the cooler to the transmission. So that short one is the um, the radiator to the cooler, I think. And then those two, that's the main far, far away one. So do this little one first. I love looking down here and seeing all my new spark plugs and wires and my manifold all done up, except that, that's gross. I need to fix that. <laughs> but other than that, looks pretty happy down here. A little update. Um, front one right here, uh, radiator to cooler is completely uh, replaced. That's the new one. The, what is it? This is, yeah, this is um, cooler to transmission. Old one is all out. New one about to go in. And then um, transmission to radiator is completely disconnected. It's just still under the truck. I haven't pulled it out yet, but it's going pretty good. It's kind of just tedious. It's really not hard. It's just... It's just tedious work trying to get the little clips off and trying to wiggle this under the truck. But almost done. So now the other two are in place. We got this old one out. This was the primarily leaking one. As you guys can see, if I can focus the camera, that's about where she was leaking. And that's the last one to put in. Um, I think that was the only one leaking. I don't know, that one looked pretty sketchy. But either way, I figured I'd do all three since I'm here. So last one to throw in. And then we'll start it up, see how, see, make sure there's no new leaks. <laughs> and then um, check on training fluid. It doesn't really lose any fluid while you're changing them, but the other day when it was running for 10, 15 minutes, it probably lost like a quart maybe. Um, so we'll still check on it. Those are looking pretty flaky too. I'll have to check those out soon. It's all right. As always, something terrific happens right when I'm about to finish. Um, so I don't know where the clip is now for the tranny line. Um, I think it's called a Dorman clip. It's basically once you pop the line in, you have to put that over. You have to click it in place so the line cannot pop off in case of like the pressure and somehow it slips out and leaks fluid everywhere. Um, so I lost that somewhere here and I can't find it, so. There we go to fix my problems, 11.39. So it's got every size in there, so one of them's gonna fit. I forget everything. So I just did the valve cover gasket and I happened to take my keys out of my pocket. I put them somewhere in the engine bay when I was working on the car, cleaned everything up. I forgot my keys in the engine bay. So I went up the road and I was ripping on it. making sure that it's not leaking. I come back and then I started like looking for my keys, couldn't find them. So I ended up going up the road like three times, I think, until I found my keys in the middle of the road. And I'm extremely happy that I found them, but they did get run over a couple times by some other people. So. <laughs>
I got lazy and I didn't come back the other day to finish um, trying to pop in the other tranny line that's left. I got the clips obviously. Um, so I came back today to do it and it's, it's very cold and rainy and nasty out, but <laughs> gonna lay under it. Hopefully we can just pop it in real quick. So here we are, dude. I'm actually super excited now because I laid under that truck for about 10 seconds and the line popped in place. It took me like five minutes to get the clip in, but it is good now. So battery's been dead because it's it's been sitting for a couple days again. I haven't really ran the thing even though I jump started last time. So gotta jump start it now. There we go. It's alive. So now we're gonna see if any of the lines are leaking. If the lines are leaking, I'm walking away. Those all look dry. 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 Oh no! Not dry! You son of a bitch! What the hell? At this point, I'm not even surprised, dude. <laughs> Why would it go right? Why would it go right? I love recording this stuff because then you can see the like roller coaster of my emotions. So here we are, dude. I'm actually super excited now. What the hell? What the hell? I was just so happy and now I'm pissed. <laughs> it's not even the line either. Do you guys see where it was spitting out? It was coming. <clears throat> Raindrops on my face just put fluid in my face. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the frigging cooler itself. When I pulled it out, I must have bent the cooler a little bit or something, something stupid. Damn it. Let me look under the truck and make sure it's not leaking on those ones at least. No, those are all dry. Frickin' damn it. Well, here's an up close view of it since we got the grill off. Oh, I forgot the jumper cables aren't on it anymore. So we can see a, a clear pea stream. Yeah, that's toast. Look how far that thing pees. That's like competition distance. I don't think there's any real way to bypass that. Um, Cause that's like at the cooler basically. I don't think I could JB weld that or nothing. I wouldn't trust it. So I think I'm gonna have to get another cooler guys. I called Napa and they told me it's $150 to replace the factory one. So I might even just do some research online because for $150, I'm sure you could buy an aftermarket one that might be better. But, again, the 6.0 is not moving today. I'm tired of doing this stuff, man. And it's cold, and it's supposed to snow tomorrow, I think. <sighs> this is the stuff I mean. Every little step I take, I feel like <laughs> there's something. There's like six other things in the way. It's supposed to just be a quick, like, simple 40-minute drive to my Trans Am. And it's been like four days of me trying to mess with the truck already. <sighs> Whatever.